dear students welcome to this session in today's session we are going to see properties of eigen values property 1 the sum of the eigen values of a matrix is equal to the sum of the principal diagonal elements of a that is called as trace of the a suppose you see if there is a 3 cross 3 matrix for example the sum of the leading diagonals this is called as the leading diagonal sum of the leading diagonal elements is always is equal to sum of the eigen values suppose lambda 1 lambda 2 plus lambda 3 are the sum of the eigen values that is going to be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 5 property 2 the product of the eigen values is equal to determinant of the matrix a so lambda 1 into lambda 2 into lambda 3 will give you determinant of a i am speaking about the case 3 cross 3 matrix if it is 4 cross 4 we have four eigen values if we have n cross n matrix we would have n eigen values is equal to determinant of a that is a product of n eigen values is equal to determinant of a recall the basic definitions of lower and upper triangular matrices if the elements above the diagonal are zero then it is said to be a lower triangular matrix similarly below the diagonal elements are zero then it is said to be upper triangular matrix a matrix is said to be a diagonal matrix at least one of the diagonal elements should be non zero and remaining all the of diagonal elements should be zero then it is known as diagonal matrix for the property 3 we need the definition of triangular matrix and the diagonal matrix the eigen values of a triangular matrix are the diagonal elements of that matrix similarly property 4 the eigen value of a diagonal matrix are the diagonal elements of that matrix so that means if the matrix is either triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix the diagonal elements are going to be my eigen values the next property if a is a square matrix suppose you are getting eigen values lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 suppose i am considering this is a 3 cross 3 matrix then you transpose the matrix whether it may be a symmetric matrix or non symmetric matrix it doesn't matter you transpose a matrix and find the eigen values and we see the eigen values of a transpose is also same as a so that means a square matrix a and it transpose have same eigen values property 6 eigen values of a real symmetric matrix are always real number property 7 if lambda is one of the eigen value of a then 1 by lambda is the eigen value of a inverse provided the lambda should not be zero it should be a non zero value next if lambda is the eigen value of a then lambda power m is the eigen value of the matrix a power m and property 9 if lambda is one of the eigen value of a then k into lambda is going to be the eigen value of the matrix k into a i am just giving you a simplified version of this property 7 8 9 you can see this is the original thing if lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are lambda n or n eigen values of a square matrix then k lambda 1 k lambda 2 etc k lambda n or the eigen values of k a similarly lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 up to lambda n or the eigen values of a matrix a provided all the lambda i are non zero then 1 by lambda 1 1 by lambda 2 1 by lambda 3 etc 1 by lambda n or the eigen values of a inverse and the third one if you take lambda 1 lambda 2 etc lambda n or the eigen values of the square matrix a then lambda 1 power m lambda 2 power m etc lambda n power m or the eigen values of the matrix a power m let us solve some simple problems using the property find the sum and product of the eigen value so it is a 3 cross 3 matrix we have three eigen values sum of eigen values we don't want to find the eigen values to find the sum we know the property 1 sum of eigen values is equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 then product of eigen value lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 is going to be determinant of a now take the determinant of a and it is very easy for us to find the determinant i was speaking about determinant in all my videos so i am just skipping i am writing the direct answer here so the determinant of a is going to be 
that is nothing but my product of my eigen values example 2 two eigen values of a matrix a are equal to unity so let us consider lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are the eigen values now according to the question lambda 1 is equal to lambda 2 that is equal to 1 find the third eigen value we know the property sum of eigen values is equal to trace of the matrix people say or sum of the leading diagonal elements so i can add 2 3 2 and from the question two eigen values are unity that is 1 so my answer is going to be lambda 3 is equal to 7 minus 2 therefore lambda 3 is 5 you can see the steps next product of two eigen values of the matrix is 3 so lambda 1 into lambda 2 i am taking as 3 i want to find the third eigen value so we know that by property 2 product of eigen values is equal to determinant of a here lambda 1 into lambda 2 is 3 lambda 3 equal to determinant of a if we found the determinant i can get the eigen value so i am writing the steps directly so determinant of a is 27 and product of two eigen values is 3 and we know that lambda 1 into, into lambda 3 is 27 that is nothing but my determinant of a so therefore lambda 3 is equal to 27 by 3 that is 9 that is my third eigen value find the eigen values of a see this matrix is a triangular matrix because the diagonals are non-zero and above the diagonals all the elements are zero if a matrix is a triangular matrix whether it is a upper triangular or a lower triangular matrix whether it is upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix very obvious my eigen values are the diagonal elements 2 3 and 4 next if 3 and 5 are two eigen values so let us assume lambda 1 equal to 3 lambda 2 equal to 15 then find the determinant of a without expanding we know that sum of the eigen values is equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements 8 7 3 so 8 plus 7 plus 3 here two eigen values are given to us so 18 plus lambda 3 is equal to 18 therefore lambda 3 equal to 0 if lambda 3 is equal to 0 we know that determinant of a is product of eigen values the third eigen value is 0 so determinant is also 0 we can see the steps here find the sum of squares of eigen values so there will be eigen values three eigen values this is sum of squares of eigen values ah the good thing is the matrix is a triangular matrix so my eigen values are simply one two and five the diagonal elements so the required answer is sum of squares of the eigen values one square two square five square one plus four plus twenty five so we'll be getting thirty this is the answer Here you can see the typed version next find the eigen values of a this matrix is a diagonal matrix about diagonal elements and the this matrix this matrix is a diagonal matrix i can see all the off diagonal elements are zero so if the matrix is a diagonal matrix then my eigen values are my diagonal entries one minus two and three are my eigen values next two two three or the eigen values of a and what is the eigen value of a transpose from the property we know eigen value of a and eigen value of a transpose are same so the answer is two two and three you can see the answer next two eigen values are given lambda one is three lambda two is six find the eigen value of a inverse so now we know sum of eigen values is equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements or trace of the matrix a both are same so 3 plus 5 plus 3 and we know two eigen values are 3 plus 6 lambda 3 is equal to 11 so lambda 3 equal to 11 minus 9 it's simply 2 now we know the three eigen values are 3 6 and 2 the eigen values for a inverse by the property is going to be 1 by 3 1 by 6 and 1 by 2 this is the eigen values for a inverse you can see the typed version okay next find the eigen values of the matrix a cube given matrix a see this matrix is a triangular matrix very good my eigen values are 1 3 4 
for the matrix a and for the matrix a cube my eigen values are going to be 1 cube 3 cube and 4 cube that is 1 27 and 64 then next we have to find the eigen values of adjoint of a do you remember a inverse is equal to adjoint of a divided by determinant of a provided determinant of a is not equal to 0 here the given matrix is a triangular matrix so the good thing is my eigen values are nothing but my diagonal elements 1 3 and 4 i am writing in the ascending order you can write in your own order so eigen values for a is 1 3 4 now i want to find eigen values of adjoint of a so rewriting this formula adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a into a inverse so the determinant value is 12 since the eigen values are 1 3 4 if i multiply all the three eigen values i'll be getting 12 so 12 into a inverse is equal to adjoint of a now if 1 3 4 or the eigen values of a then 1 by 1 1 by 3 1 by 4 or the eigen values of a inverse from this the eigen values of adjoint of a is nothing but you have to multiply 12 with the eigen values so when i multiply i'll be getting 12 then 12 by 3 12 by 4 so my final answer is 12 4 and 3 or the eigen values of adjoint of a you can see the typed version hope you understand i give varieties of problem to solve using the properties so remember all the properties you can easily crack the mcqs for your semester exams good luck thank you subscribe our channel if you like the video click the like button share to your friends post your comments we'll see in the next video see you bye bye